Oh Lord, I've got a battle coming up with the Ammonites. I'm really going to need to carry out a massive slaughter, so I figured that since that's your specialty, you're the person to turn to for help. Ammonites, eh? Hmm, fancy that. Just recently I sold my beloved people, the Israelites, into their hands. Oh, oh is that what this is about? Well, yes, Lord. Your beloved people are asking you to help them. No, I told them, I will deliver you no more. And I don't lie, ever. So, no. Please? Okay, sure. So, are we going to be killing just armies of men? Or are there going to be women and children killed, too? Oh, I don't know. Why does that matter? Yeah, see, I need to start taking care of this sort of thing. I don't want any atheists saying that I ever killed women and children indiscriminately. But you do. What about when you told that guy to go through Jerusalem and slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women? Yeah, I know, I know. I've ordered that babies be killed, and I've even killed them myself directly. But in every case, they were evil babies who deserved it, okay? It's important that people know that I only order the death of evil and stubborn people, and usually for the heinous crime of just not getting the hell out of the way of my real estate dealings. Well, the Ammonites are requesting that we give them their land back. Oh, bastards! But Lord, I'm planning on conquering about 20 cities. Like what Joshua did. So Joshua? Ho oh, ho, oh, what a great man. All I had to do was just unfairly manipulate each battle in his favor, and he'd exterminate every living thing in city after city. If it breathed, it died. Ho oh. In fact, have you ever met anyone from the city of Libna? No. Have you ever met anyone from the city of Lachish? No. Gezer? No. Hebron? Debir? No. Kadesh Barnea? Gaza? No. Goshen? Eglon? Gibeon? No. <laughs> of course you haven't! No people from those cities exist anymore, because Joshua killed every single man, woman, child and baby alive in them! Exactly as I, the Lord God of Israel, had commanded him. So why are you worried about me maybe killing some more babies if it comes to that? Well, it's public relations, see? Atheists are always going to try to point to my evil acts and use them to try to make me look... well, evil. I mean, look, are you planning to use your sword to slice apart any pregnant women on this one? <laughs> well, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, yeah, it's a threat I like to use against people. But I just can't stand it when my enemies do it. I mean... What part of thou shalt not kill do people not understand? Hmm. What about when your own people, the Israelites, do it, Lord? Yeah, well, King Menahem sliced apart pregnant women. I, I didn't like it, but I didn't think it was worth him losing his job over it, so I just did nothing. Right. So, are you going to help oh, me then? Oh, that reminds me. Is there going to be any dashing of babies against rocks in this campaign of yours? Lord, look, I don't think you need to worry about me doing that, okay? Can we talk about the Ammonites? Yeah, yeah, look, I guess I'd have to say that if you can avoid deliberately smashing babies' skulls apart on rocks, I'd prefer that, even though my book does suggest that it is potentially a source of happiness. Yeah, okay, okay, so, Lord, the Ammonites? Yeah, I haven't slaughtered Ammonites before. This will be something new. <laughs> Actually, the closest I came to harming the Ammonites was when I sent a left-handed man to visit the king of one of their allies and stab him in the guts with a double-edged sword, causing him to shit himself and then die. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get to work on this Ammonite. Oh, hold on, Jephthah. <laughs> you nearly tricked me. <laughs> What's in it for me if I help you out on this? If you've got nothing to give me in return, then... Frankly, you can... you can go and know yourself. Hmm, something in return. I assume that you mean a sacrifice of some sort. Mm, mm, keep talking. What do you got? <laughs> I know just what you want, Lord. Ooh, goody, goody. I promise, Lord, to do good and to share. For with such sacrifices you are well pleased. Jephthah, wake up! I don't value things like that. Not yet, anyway. I want what I usually want, the ritualistic death of living things. When I helped out Moses, he killed me 818 animals and 32 human virgins. Oh, the odour. So pleasing. Well, I don't have that much to offer, Lord. My half-brothers kicked me out of the family because my mother was a whore. So I've only got my wife and kid and a couple of servants. Oh, just a couple of servants and a kid, huh? Yeah, yeah, and my wife... Oh, you're thinking of my servants. Oh, um, I, I don't expect you'd like them much, Lord. They're, they're a bit old, pretty lazy, not uh, much good uh, at anything. This kid of yours, um, boy or girl? Uh, a, a daughter. 
Um, actually, now that I think of it, Lord, my servants really are good, very righteous, hard-working. Married? Yes, they are. I bought them already married, two for the price no, no, of... No, I mean your daughter. Uh, oh, um, no, she's not. Um, Lord, you're not suggesting that I sacrifice... Hey, 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 I never said anything. You know it's completely against my character to desire that children be killed, ever. If you think that I tolerate the killing of innocent children, then you've totally misinterpreted everything I've clearly stated in my book. Either that or read a version that was mistranslated from the original Hebrew. Freaking translators! Why don't they ever mistranslate bits to make me look extra nice? They always turn me into a sick, unjust, cruel, violent, mass-murdering psychopath. When I'm... I'm... Uh, oh, actually, I am. Hmm, anyway, now back to you and your sacrifice. You make me an offer. If it's something that I want, then I'll help you. But if, say, you were to make some kind of immoral or unethical offer, something that violated basic conceptions of love, fairness and justice, then of course I won't accept that, and I would clearly and unequivocally chastise you for even making such an offer. Oh, yeah, yes, of course, Lord. I would never even think of offering you something that would make you look immoral, bloodthirsty or evil were you to accept it. So I tell you what. If you help me slaughter the Ammonites, I promise that whatsoever cometh forth of the doors of my house to meet me when I return in peace from the children of Ammon shall surely be the Lord's, and I will offer it up for a burnt offering. <gasps> a burnt offering? <gasps> Something from his house, possible human sacrifice, a couple of servants, a wife, and a daughter. I like those odds. Jephthah? I'm going to help you. Yeah, but come on, Lord. You don't really intend to... Like, well, but, 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 I, come on, come on. Let's talk strategy. You and I have got some butchering to do. <sighs> okay. Come on, servant. Come on, servant. I'm home! Daddy! Daddy! No! <laughs> oh, no. I told you his daughter would be the first thing to come out of his house. Stupid deal, Lord. Yeah, now one of us has to go down and stop the sacrifice. Like when Abraham was about to kill his only child. Shall I go now, Lord? R r really, Lord, as, as soon as you're ready, just give the word and we're there. Yeah, and now would be the perfect time to say, <clears throat> Okay, Gabriel, go down there once again and stop that awful human sacrifice from happening because such things are unambiguously evil and offend my perfect moral standard. Oh, wait, uh, she's going off into the mountains with her friends to... Um, hmm, it looks like she's bewailing her virginity. Ah, oh, she'd be better off trying to lose it while she has the chance. Yeah, it buys us some time, though. How long is she going to be? Oh, probably a couple of months, Lord. Oh, I don't want to wait. I'm the Lord of Time and Space. I'm going to fast forward it to see what happens next. Whoa, two months Earth time have passed. She's back. Look, Jephthah's made a sacrificial pyre to burn her on. Shall I go now, Lord Yahweh? Lord? Shall I go now and save her life? Since you don't approve of human sacrifice ever? And, and only false gods such as Molech would ever demand such a thing? Which, according to your believers, justifies so many of the holy genocides you've helped Israel commit? She's on the chopping block, Lord! Send me now! So sorry. You know, I'm going to see to it that Jephthah is recognized and remembered as a man of great faith. Do you know, before he dies, he's going to be responsible for around 42,000 more deaths? <laughs> he's a hero! not see what you just let happen here? Of course I did. But what just happened here was justified. How? Oh, look, I can't be bothered explaining it. I'm busy. Just ask my devoted and well-informed followers. They'll be happy to explain to you exactly how and why this was perfectly acceptable. Right? <laughs> <laughs>